So I decided to make my parachute out of pretty much the crummiest plastic bag I could find. I've cut the bag in half, I opened it up, and then I measured basically a, about how long it was. And it seemed like I almost had a square that was 38 centimeters by 38 centimeters. So then I put a dot around the center of the bag um, and I made, measured a string length that was 14 centimeters after I tied it to this magic marker so that I could draw a circle. I looked at a bunch of parachutes and it seemed to me generally that they're circular in shape. So I decided that was probably a good start for a design. Drawing a perfect circle with a string. Once I had the circle that was, had a radius of 14 centimeters or 28 centimeter diameter, I then took a plastic cup and put it in the center. Then I figured out how long strings would need to be so that they were uh, a bit longer than this length. And I measured a whole bunch of strings to be the same length, 17 centimeters. I cut eight of them. Then I just taped them to the cup in the center of the bag and tried to put them equidistant around the outside of my circle. Finally, I used my force balance to measure some objects to try and find one that was around five grams, which I found. Uh, one I found to be 15 grams and another to be 50 grams. These are gonna be the objects that I place inside the cup for my different mass parachute drops. I'm gonna do 10 of each mass. All right, so first, I'm gonna get time data of my five gram object dropped without the parachute. Then I'm gonna collect data, this is my parachute. Uh, dropping my parachute from 304 centimeters. It's very important that I always use the same height for different uh, versions of my experiments. I'm dropping from right here, 304. Drop number one. Whoops. Nice. Oh, that was a little swingy though. Two. Ooh, not exactly going in a straight line, is it? 